Hi there, welcome. Today we're going to talk about an example of how you can inject private Azure VM blobs into custom VM images using Image Builder and Managed Identity. So why would you want to do this? Essentially, you may have files that are in non-public Azure storage containers and you want them baked into the image. So you can use an Azure assigned Managed Identity, grant that permissions to the Azure storage account or blob in this case, and then give that identity to Image Builder and you will have seamless connection and authentication. You have all the code ready now to start. If you go to the link aka.ms forward slash azvm image builder msi, you can see the full end to end example. And in this session, we're going to dissect the example and show you how it works. And here is the accompanying code that you're going to be working through. This covers all the steps that we talk through here and gives you an understanding of what's going on. So, step one, you're going to need to create a resource group. This is going to be used by Image Builder to inject the custom image to at the end. It's also going to be used for the Image Builder uh, template artifact. So you need to grant the Image Builder SPN contributor rights to this. Step three is to create a resource group with a storage account, a container, and a script file. The code will create this for you. This is essentially to simulate your own private script repository that resides in a private container. Step four, you will create a user assigned identity or subscription and then you will grant read permissions to that blob. Inside the image builder configuration template, we're going to pass in the identity that you created and in customizations for the shell customizer, you're going to set the script URI to the URI of the customized script.sh. And once you've completed the configuration template, you submit it to the Azure VM Image Builder service. At this time, the image builder will create a staging resource group and storage account and download the custom script.sh to it. In addition, you will also see that an Azure Image Builder template artifact has been created in the resource group. You then invoke run on the Image Builder template resource and this will kick off the image build. And a short while later, you'll see that custom image injected into that resource group too. And the last step of the exercise is to then create a VM from this image. If it's worked successfully, you should see the message of the day has been updated when you log into that image. So thank you for listening to this overview of the end-to-end -end example. Now it's time for you to get started with the end-to-end -end example. Go to aka.ms forward slash azvmimagebuilder msi. Thank you for listening.